Hey guys, welcome again to the Mask Club. If you are just joining us, so welcome. So for some time, we've been looking at modular arithmetic, right? To give ourselves an introduction to modular arithmetic, we talked about congruence, talked about modular addition, and now we are in modular subtraction. So if you have not seen any of those videos, you can click the pop-up that appears at the top right. So now modular subtraction, what are we doing? Right, we have two numbers, right? We want to subtract them, and then we want to make the answer to be in a particular mode. That's all. Let's see some examples. So in this example, it says find the result of 8 minus 4 mod 3. Right, so let's go. So it says um, 8 minus 4, right, in mode 3. Right, so 8 minus 4 is 4, right? Now to convert that 4 to mode 3, we just divide it by 3. Right, if I divide 4 by 3, I'm dividing by 3 because that is the mode. Right, so 4 minus 3 is 1 with the remainder of 1. And just like we always know, the remainder is always what we're actually looking for when it comes to modulus and modular arithmetic, right? So therefore, 8 minus 4 in mode 3, right, is equal to the remainder here, which is what? Which is 1. 1 in mode 3. That's all. Let's see if we're correct. Great. 1 mode 3. Very simple. Let's look at this one. So it says find the result of 12 minus 23 mod 8. So if you're following us, I want you to actually pause the video and try it out yourself. Welcome back. Right, so we have 12 minus 23 mod 8. So normally 12 minus 23, so you are owing somebody 23 naira, right? And you pay the person 12 naira. How much are you owing the person? Right, so you are owing the person, you are still owing, that's why it's negative, you are still owing 11 naira, right, so you are still owing the person 11 naira. So how can you convert this minus 11, right, to a positive value in mode 8, right? Based on what we've done before, we said we start looking for multiples of 8, right, that by the time we do some addition and subtraction from it, we'll be able to find this minus 11 back. So what multiple of 8 do you think, can we use 8, 8 cannot work, because minus 8 plus what, right, minus 8 plus what never give me minus 11. Let's go to minus 16. Right, minus 16. What do what at what positive value do I need to add to minus 16 to take it back to minus 11? Right, so I need to add 5. Right, so that's great. So this minus 11, I can rewrite it and say minus 16 plus 5 mod 8. Right, and like we said before, this plus 5, right, is the remainder. Right, so that means that the value at the end of the day is 5 mod 8. Right, that's all. This is just like a run through of all the things that we've been doing. Let's see if our answer is correct. Where it's 5 mod 8. Yeah. So if you got it well done. Let's continue. So it says find the result of the subtraction of 34 minus 14 mod 2. Right. So let's see. 34 minus 14 in mod 2. 34 minus 14 normally is 20, right? So if I want to convert that 20 to a smaller value in mode 2, I'll just divide by 2, right? Which is the mod. 20 divided by 2 is 10. Is there a remainder? No. So remainder 0. So therefore, what will our value be? 34 minus 14 mode 2, right? Will just be equal to the remainder, which is 0 in mode 2. That's all. Let's see if our answer is correct. Great, great. Now look at this last question. It says, in what modulus is it true that 19 minus 8 is equal to 5? In what modulus is it true that 19 minus 8 is equal to 5? Let's see. Normally, what is 19 minus 8? 19 minus 8 is 11, right? So what can I divide by 11, right? That will give me something with the remainder of what? With the remainder of five, right? So what is that? Thing? What can I divide? Can I try one, two, three, four? A good way to do it is just minus five from the value, right? So if I minus level from five, you see that I have six. That will give me an idea of what the value I'm looking for should be, right? So eleven minus five that will be six. So if I divide eleven by six, what will I have? I will have one, right? Because six can only go up in eleven once with the remainder of what of five. So therefore, that means our answer is actually six. Right, that means that what 
this um, subtraction was carried out in mode 6. Let's see if it's correct. Great. And with that, we're actually done with subtraction. Right. So the next time we're going to meet, we're going to be doing multiplication in modular arithmetic. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel so that you can be up to date with all of our amazing contents. And if you have a comment or question, please drop a question in the comment section.